This is a Mercy Girl production. Mac T here, and we're going to go ahead and install some photographs on our My Ford Touch sync system Make here. A picture for your Ford Edge displays. Of course, you take these pictures and you the edge we can take and go ahead and get a, a USB drive. Now we use your USB, which uh, in this case this one isn't uh, very big. I think it's maybe a 16 gigabyte USB. You don't want to go real big on this, but you have your USB and you'll be needing that later. But when you load the photo, the photo can only be an 800 by 384 JPG and it will be of course about 72 DPI. Now you're going to have to resize these uh, photos in order to make them work because your standard camera photography will not work just like the pictures I previously took they will not work so I'll show you on the computer here how you go about saving those pictures and then of course putting them onto the USB and then we'll go out to the Ford Edge and install the photographs now all you do is you just take and you put it into your USB slot and then you go ahead and get rid. You of course then take and remove your card from your camera and then you go ahead and you slide it into the card slot on your computer. Now once you've gotten all of your files in place you can then select a file. So you merely go on to your uh, file uh, folders and select the picture and then you right click on the mouse key and you will then open with Microsoft Paint. Now once you open this photo you're going to of course have to zoom it back out so you can actually see what you got as far as a photograph. Now you want to resize it so you go back to home and then you click on resize now you want to change this to pixels and also deselect the maintain aspect ratio because it will not allow you to make the changes then you simply on the uh, horizontal type in 800 and then at the vertical you will then type in 384 which is the number that Ford specifies and once you've done that then you can click OK and you will have your photograph so if we want to view it a little bigger we just zoom in and we can see our final product here as far as the photograph that you're going to have now you can of course trim it by grabbing over here on the right side and trim it down and lose a little bit of this area that's in the back to make it smaller as far as uh, showing your photograph better uh, but if you just leave it like this, it'll it'll also work out fine. It just depends on your preferences of what you want to do to play with the photographs to enhance them and things. But I'm not going to do that on this tutorial on it. So once we've got that, then we want to take it, of course, save as. And we want to save it as a JPG. So we're going to take it and we're going to save it as... Uh, 1186 uh, which is a standard number on here because I just snapped this photo for testing so you just save that but you go down to the folder of course that you want to put it in and then of course you save it into your uh, drives or whatever you're going to do so in this case we'll go over here and of course we can save it into our repair videos and everything that we make uh, and then save the photograph and it'll say do I want to replace it and I just say yes if not you can rename it but again I have overrode it and it is now the right size that we're going to be using now we want to do something different we want to go up here and 
I want to advertise my uh, YouTube channel on here. So what I do is I open up my YouTube channel and what I do is I hit control and then print screen. And that is a real basic function on there. And what it does is it copies this whole screen to the clipboard. And when you do that, you can then take and of course I've learned over a while here you make this a little smaller make it work easier and then you just right click and paste and there you have your uh, Mac T uh, Ford Edge channel and we can downsize this a bit and make it fit into our PowerPoint because I use PowerPoint to do this and I just save it as a slide essentially and what I'm going to do here I'll expand it out and then I'll click on format for picture tools and there's a crop function up at the top and it allows you to crop it so I can then bring it back down and then back up here and I can resize this photograph to where I want it to be so that I can then save it as a JPG on the the uh, PowerPoint and what I do is I can stretch it then okay so I can make it get bigger and bigger and do whatever I want to do here so I can make it fit this whole thing and stretch it and it shouldn't really hurt the aspect ratio too terribly much uh, depending on what I'm trying to do here but as you can see I can stretch it all the way down so that it will cover the sheet and then of course I will have it now keep in mind what I got here is not necessarily going to be the aspect ratio of it when I do save it under the my Ford touch but what you gotta do then is you want to take and save as and then of course you want to find your uh, file and once you get your file here Ford Edge repair videos and then of course we save it in our file uh, and we will then name it um, Mac T Ford Edge and we will save it as a JPG and there we have it we save it as every slide and now we have a photograph of that now what you need to do then of course is to close this out uh, no we don't want to save the presentation so we go up to our photographs and there we see uh, different photographs that we have but we go to the my Ford touch the sinks and we will see Mac T Ford Edge now again we will open that one up and uh, let's see we want to open it with paint again and once we get it opened up to paint then again the same thing we did before is we want to take and resize it so we click on resize pixels and again we want to make it 800 and remember to deselect maintain aspect ratio by 384 now you'll note the changes here that it will make so as you can see it did stretch it down a little more and brought it in so this is exactly the photograph that you will see uh, on my car or, or that I install I think I install the Ford picture though but you can do the same thing here so we will save this as a JPG and again it will go into the fo folder and we'll overwrite it and we will have it saved as our JPG 72 DPI 800 by 384 photo so now we got the photos and then of course we save them on our USB drive and then once we're done with that we take our USB drive out to the Ford and we will then install it and we will have our new wallpapers on our Ford Edge we're in the car we're going to go ahead and install the USB and install some photographs. I have some various sizes and types that I did save onto the USB as you saw previously on the computer uh, screen. 
So we're going to go ahead and see which ones actually pop up so we can all learn lessons of what the My Ford Touch system will handle and what it will accept. And in that case, we're going to go ahead and get started. Now the first thing we got to do, of course, is find our USB access point. We have our USB drive right here and I can mentioned it's only about a 16 gig I think it's not a real big one but uh, all we have to do is go down to our center console and in our center console you're going to of course see all the different uh, connections and everything that you have here your RCA's and everything to plug stuff in along with your uh, 12 volt plug and so all you're gonna take and do just slide your USB key right into the uh, slot and then we're going to go and we're going to touch the buttons here and you're on your home screen now so what we're going to do is we're going to touch the system and then what you're going to see is display so you want to touch the display button and you can see that we have all the different buttons here day night everything we want to do auto dim you can turn that off from here uh, you can have day night or off or you can have it on auto so you can set it if it's uh, your preference to what you want to do and the dim offset you can also make it so it's brighter or lighter so you can adjust those right here too but we're going to do the edit wallpaper so we touch the edit wallpaper and then of course we want to then add more photographs and as you can see remember I uh, took and had more that I put on there so let's see we got our warning it tells you JPG GIF uh, PNG and uh, BMP max size is 1.5 remember that's a key to it a lot of my main photos off your camera are going to be far larger than that number of photos you can put on here of course in memory storage is 32 and the dimensions that I mentioned 800 by 384 now if you remember right I said some of them I had were bigger than that so let's see what it actually allows me to do now if you remember right I had multiple ones that I did and then of course this here is where a bunch more photos will be on there but we're gonna go ahead and if you remember right I had CB on here let's see what CB does now the file uh, cannot be important please assure correct format so remember that one wasn't set at the right format so it wasn't at the 800 by 384 so that one's not gonna work and then okay let's try this image here and it of course is not the correct format and then last but not least my Ford now it's saving that one because that one I did save at 800 by 384 and then of course we have this other one here and it is saved on there so those two were not going to work because they didn't meet the the sizes that you need so we can open this folder and we have slide one JPG which is also saved to our sink because it meets that requirement so as you can see some of my photos that I did as an experiment did not work so we're gonna go of course and have to change those so we're going to go back to add photos and we can pick what we want as far as our photos and of course we can slide down to see what we got and of course I have this one here which was the one I took of my Ford Edge and this one did meet the requirements so when they tell you 800 by 384 that is exactly what you're gonna have to have and as you can see it does skew it you can change the aspect ratios a little bit but let's go ahead and save that and make it our wallpaper and see what it comes out to so we're gonna go and we're done so we can go to the home screen and now the home screen has my Ford Edge on the so, screen. Lessons learned folks, you have to pay attention to the 800 by 384. You do not do that. 
your photograph will not upload and as you can see we have another picture that you can put on there and this is of course the one I resized from my YouTube channel so we have that one we can of course select that one to save so we can hit the save button on here and save it and now it is saved as my wallpaper so we'll go to the home screen and there you have it we have my YouTube channel on my wallpaper so Mac T Ford Edge do save it at the 800 by 384 for the JPEG and not more than 1.5 megabytes and then your photograph of course can be uploaded and stored onto your Ford Edge wallpaper well that's it folks as far as uh, putting in any uh, new wallpapers of course you can customize this with animals friends family children uh, whatever photograph you, you can also save photographs as I showed you by doing uh, your computer work at your desk and on your laptop or desktop computer and then screen capturing photographic images and also keep in mind there are many sources of wallpapers that you can get that Ford also sponsors and many other links have that you can add to your uh, collection to vary the photographs as you're driving you can have different things to look at uh, it does not have a randomizing feature in it that would be almost nice wouldn't it if they just added a randomizing feature so that it could scan through the photographs say you set it at a like one hour increments or half hour increments or whatever you wanted to do that would be pretty neat but other than that this is Mac T Ford Edge off of YouTube be kind and like my channel and also appreciate everything I do as I'm doing it for you so you have a great new year and of course we'll see you on the next videos to Mac T.